Chris, what is our first main topic today? This first one comes from Burke V. Hey, everyone. I just saw a report by IGN, original source by The Hollywood Reporter, saying that James Gunn has multiple projects moving forward at WB. What installations would you like to see based on the restructuring of the DCEU? Thanks and bring on the filthy. Thanks a lot for saying that in, man. And listen, I think the issue is actually even bigger than you think. Now, of course, let's cover a little bit of history here. James Gunn was very much a Marvel company man, right? He had made Guardians of the Galaxy. The, the, it was a huge surprise hit for a lot of people. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I don't think it was as good as the first one, but did quite well for them. Still very enjoyable film. And Kevin Feige word got out that Kevin Feige had decided that he was going to start, he kind of appointed James Gunn was going to be his kind of lead creative guy for the galactic area of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That he was going to not, not direct all of them, but he was going to kind of be a mid, the main consultant guy on what to do with the galactic element of it, right? Well, then, of course, all that came to a screeching halt. When Alan Horn, would, I believe, was the one big mistake he made. When his, and I was very, very critical of Alan Horn with this one mistake. When 10... 15 year old i can't remember how old the tweets were some some tweets with some really off-color jokes that james gunn had made that he had complete earlier had said he completely regretted all that kind of stuff came to light and within about, i think about 24 to 48 hours they pulled the trigger and fired james gunn on like decade old tweets now of course once that happened Every, I think it was the rap that was reporting, every single studio in Hollywood <laughs> lined up at James Gunn's door, knocking on the door, with bags of money in one hand and options of properties on the next, saying, come work with us, we'll give you whatever you want. Warner Brothers even came to James Gunn and said, you can do anything you want. I think there was one exception, it might have been, I know it wasn't Aquaman. It, anyway, there was one exception that was kind of off the list, but they said, you want to do Superman? We'll let you do Superman. You do. You can do whatever you want. And James Gunn ultimately decided to go with Warner Brothers, made a completely James Gunn selection and d decided he wanted to do Suicide Squad, which I'm so glad he did. But then, of course, fences got mended with, uh, with Disney. Horn and Gunn talked more apparently they continued a long discussion over the course of months and they said you know what james gunn's come back he's going to do guardians of the galaxy 3 and the world rejoiced yay but it was too late the roots had been planted at warner brothers james gunn had already started planning his future with warner brothers and it wasn't just peacemaker and suicide squad there was a bunch of other high profile projects coming as well. And with all the upheaval going on in Warner Brothers, you know, that you could wonder about what's going on with James Gunn and Warner Brothers, especially with the fences mended at Disney. Now his future, still kind of at Warner Brothers. This comes to us from the folks over at Screen Rant who wrote the following. Shortly after Peacemaker aired, Gunn confirmed that he was very seriously working on more projects based on the DCEU. One of the various projects in development, Gunn recently revealed that one has gained significant momentum and he had already begun working on the scripts. This had fans pleased until earlier this month. The newly formed company, Warner Brothers Discovery, spread chaos amongst the DC fan base by shelving near, nearly a completed Batgirl film. Gunn was quick to assure fans that the Peacemaker season two remains safe in the wake of unprecedented cancellation and now now, the fate of his other projects are also clear. Basically, confirmation came out that he has minimum four projects. Minimum, I was told, minimum four projects. Could be five, could be six, but minimum four projects. He has, one of those is probably Peacemaker Season 2, so maybe three additional ones. But four projects on the go at Warner Brothers. I don't think, now listen, I have not spoken to James Gunn about this or anybody official, so this is just my pure speculation. But... A lot of people have wondered, is Guardians of the Galaxy 3 going to be the final Marvel entry from James Gunn? And while I certainly don't want it to be, I think it's becoming clear it is. I think Gunn's future lays over at Warner Brothers. Anyway, Chris, you look at this situation. We've seen it unfold. James Gunn saying, no, I'm good here. And all these projects apparently are still moving forward. Mm -hmm. What do you think the future of James Gunn? Is it Warner Brothers? Could it be going back to Disney? What do you think? I feel like he's going to explore Warner Brothers a lot more because I think this is a playground that he really wants to just dive into, especially with how wicked and wild Peacemaker's gotten to be. It gets to be real heckin' violent. And if you go back to James's trauma roots, this is his style. This is what he loves to do. We had a movie with Starro. 
He wants to do some <laughs> fun, gross, weird things. And I think there's a lot of potential here, too, right? You could bring in Detective Chimp. You could do all kinds of weird <laughs> stuff with him. I think it'd be really, really fun. I think we could see Manhunter show up maybe through Peacemaker. That's another fun character I think he could explore. I'm wondering if it's going to be a lot of offshoots from his pun uh, from his Peacemaker world um, or if it's going to be other just random DC characters. I feel like he's going to go get some like C-string folks well, and really elevate them. Well, there was some talk of uh, Waller, of a Waller series yep. and stuff like that as well. So going a lot well, And then you directions. could do Shadow Pact, which yep. would be super yes, you fun. Could. You could do that. Yeah. Here's one of the really encouraging things to me, Rob. The old DC run Warner Brothers or Warner Brothers run DC. Movie comes out and it flopped. And let's face it, there were a lot of extenuating circumstances, but the Suicide Squad movie did not do great. I mean, there's that, that's the nice way of putting it. Despite the fact that it was fantastic, didn't do great. The old Warner Brothers regime would have instantly looked at that and said, well, we got to cut bait. No King Shark pun intended. But they would have said, we got to cut bait. That, that's what the old, yeah. old DC would have done when it was under the, the old Warner Brothers ownership, right? Mm -hmm. I love the fact that under the new leadership, they're like, no, he made a great movie. Okay, it didn't get the financial results that we wanted. All we can ask of our directors is to make a great movie. And that Suicide Squad movie was fantastic. And they're like, yeah, we want more of that. Well, yeah, but what about the fact that they didn't make all the money in the world? That's our problem. You leave that to us, our marketing, all that kind of stuff. That's our problem. You go make more of that. And that to me is very exciting. So with all that said, where do you what does it look like to you where James Gunn's feet are gonna be planted? Like could if Guardians of the Galaxy does great, could we see him do more Marvel films? Is he just gonna wrap up shop at Marvel after Guardians is done and just permanently live with WB? How do you see Well, I think it? Chris pointed it out. I mean, James Gunn has an R-rated sensibility. Disney is not an R-rated company. They might Stress figure out yeah. they might figure out ways to utilize whether it's gonna be on Hulu or whether it's gonna be on a like what they do, stars or whatever uh, in Europe and in Canada, how they might show I mean, Deadpool will be on, but but for the most part, Disney is not an R-rated company. James Gunn at Warner Brothers is unfettered, uncut James Gunn. He doesn't have to worry. You know, I mean, just look at his movie Slither and, and Super. Go back to Tromeo and Juliet or something like that. Or or even a movie I worked on him with, The Specials, which is this low-budget superhero thing. He he's, he's, he's a punk rocker. Hmm. You know, that's what he wants. He wants to walk into a room, strap on a guitar, and play it really loud and get the audience to thrash around in the mosh pit. That's that's his sensibility, and Warner Brothers is open to that. He doesn't have to worry about ratings and making it family-friendly content. I mean, I'm sure I would love to see the R-rated version of Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. You know, when, when Star-Lord, when he talks about painting the interior cockpit. Group got uh, sap uh, everywhere. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, or when, uh, you know, it's a, it's a cocooning painting or whatever the hell he says in the, <laughs> in the movie. I'm like, all right, uh, but he can't. So, and why not go to Warner Brothers where not only does he have the, the entire DC pantheon to play with, but he can also make other movies yeah. that are not yeah. comic book related. Like, you know, he wrote a novel called The Toy Collector. I'd love to see him take a crack at putting, I mean, that is a dark book. And I would love to see him take a crack at making that movie. I don't think he ever will, but it, he could. Here's an interesting, here's, here's some trivia for you. Okay. okay, pop quiz. Where was James Gunn fired from? Disney. Mm -hmm. Who fired him? Alan Horn. Where's James Gunn now? At Warner Brothers. Where's Alan Horn now? <laughs> <laughs> so I can already see the conspiracy theorists going, this was part of Alan Horn's five-year plan. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what it was. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this whole thing? It looks like James Gunn's future at Warner Brothers is pretty solid and secure. What's your takeaway from that? Whatever your thoughts are, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh's quick and easy recipes, 20 minute meals, and low prep, low cleanup options provide an even faster route to putting food on the table around your packed schedule. You need another reason to stay in for dinner? HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant and is 
is even cheaper than grocery shopping. That's money back in your pocket. Guys, Ann and I love HelloFresh. You know, we're both working professionals, so when the end of the day comes along, we're both so tired and frazzled and trying to figure out what to do for dinner, most of the time we just end up running out for dinner, which is expensive. But when we've got HelloFresh, it gives us a fun activity to do together, making quick, delicious meals and easy to clean up. We love it. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia16 and use the code Campia16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia16 using the promo code Campia16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.